guys, we're going to do a windshield wiper with a yoga or stability ball. Now, I've actually handed out all my inflated yoga and stability balls to the clients that I actually work at their houses um, because then I didn't have to keep taking them in and out with the other equipment. So there, I don't have any inflated ones right now in my studio. So we're going to use this. This is actually a really cool thing you can get at Amazon. It's kind of like a BOSU ball um, in the sense of the instability. We're going to use this today, but imagine this is a stability ball or a yoga ball. Okay. So you're going to get down into, um, just sit up position, you know, we're, um, fa we're facing the ceiling. And there's a couple progressions of this. So I'm going to do the first level. So the first level is we're going to bring our knees up to 90 degrees here. Okay. So right here. And we're going to put the yoga ball in between our knees. Okay. So now we have to squeeze this yoga ball to keep it from popping out. That's going to actually force me to utilize my inner thighs. So that's an awesome bonus to this move. And what we're going to do is you can put your hands here, you can put them out to 90 degrees, whichever is best for you. You're going to roll, um, uh, pull your core in nice and tight and rotate your hips so we've got a nice flat back, right, on the ground. We don't want to hyper arch our spine, especially because we're going to now rotate at our hips. So right about 90 degrees, make sure you're keeping 90 degrees, don't bring them in here to where we've got a little bit of a reverse crunch going. And we're going to just turn, keeping our upper body as flat on the floor as possible. And our, lower, and our lower body, just from waist down, is turning. So if you think of when we do wood choppers, how if they're horizontal wood choppers, just level with the floor, how I have you keep your lower body stable and your upper body is the only thing rotating. So we're actually just rotating through the, basically my belly button, lower. Then we're going to really get all of the lower core, that oblique, obliques, um, and you know some nice uh, medial glute action as well um, down your hips and stuff, just because of having to pull back and forth nice and controlled. So keep your yoga ball in between your legs, though. <laughs> if you lose yours, chase it down. Um, now, the next one, let's see, let's move this. The next progression is when we're going to do them straight legs. So because they're straight up in the air, now we have a longer lever, right? So therefore, whenever we make a longer lever, it's going to be more difficult, okay? So I'm going to focus on making sure I'm really using my core to pull up my legs. What I want you to do, my muscle connection, is I don't want you thinking, let's hope I can't go any further because of that ball there, but I don't want you thinking um, lower and then raise with my outer thigh up. What I want you thinking of is really controlling this core nice and tight, focusing on your core, feel your core release and control your legs down in a nice controlled way. We're going nice and slow. Then I'm using all my obliques, all right here, to pull them back up and over. And then down nice and controlled, go down further than this, I just can't go further because of the board. And then right here, these, these muscles, those obliques going into my lower um, core, now also, don't use your arms to push yourself up, okay? That's a cheat. Just put them out to the side, just so, because, you know, if they're attached to your body, they gotta be somewhere, right? So, again, I'm gonna turn this way so I can actually go a little bit more full range. You might get the foot right in the camera. So here, up, down, nice and controlled. And then I'm going to actually think of my core, all my obliques right here, I'm going to squeeze those to bring them up center and then back down, nice and controlled, go as deep as you can. My shoulder notice is right here. I'm going to raise mine just to show you right here is where I'm focusing on my core, okay? And I'm going to notice when I came back up, I was not pushing myself up with my arms. Really focus on this area of your abdominals as you do these, either with the yoga ball between your knees the yoga ball between your feet, which makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to go as far down before, you know, there's not as big of range of motion, or straight leg bent or straight leg without the yoga ball, depending on what I have written in your program. So there you go, you guys. There is your windshield wipers with the yoga ball, or not. <laughs>